Yeah, we uh, we started off today with uh, video work. You know, um, last night against IUPUI, we did some things that were very uncharacteristic of us, uh, and I think it could be a combination of some things. Uh, so we wanted to make sure we broke down the video. We talked about good shots and bad shots, uh, and then we went into good possessions and bad possessions on the offensive end. Um, because offensively we have to get better, and that all starts with knowing what a good shot is and a bad shot is, uh, and then knowing uh, who needs the ball and where they need it. Uh, like I said, with all motion, that's still some of the learning process that we're going through. Uh, and then the other thing is we added two new players throughout this course. Uh, you know, in the last 10 days, I think we've had one actual competitive practice because we've played so many games. Uh, and in that time, we've added two new players with uh, Kelsey and then Sierra. So it's, there's been kind of some confusion and then, like I said, the lineup changes and everything else. So uh, the video was just good for us to go back to where we started from and show them these are mistakes we used to make. We don't make them anymore. Okay. Yeah, the, you know, you've got, what, 11 players or 12 or, you know, that can, that can get on the floor. Is that... How is that? How would you describe that challenge? And, and is it? Uh, do you want to, you know, use this rest of the non-conference to kind of find a smaller rotation, or do you want to keep yeah, it at that I, level? You or? know, twelve is hard to play. You know, yeah. what I mean, I, I think in the three hundred and fifty some odd programs there are, you'd be hard pressed to find a number uh, more than five to seven programs that actually play twelve kids. Uh, and so it's something we'd like to continue to do. Uh, because again, you never know if an injury's going to happen, foul trouble, you want everybody to feel comfortable when their numbers go. Um, but th there is that balance, and I think I have to do a better job of making sure the right players are still in there together and not get caught up with uh, having bad lineups that haven't played together before. Uh, and then also, you got to make sure that uh, you can't worry about playing somebody if somebody else is playing good. You know, and that's, right. again, that's where the chemistry issue comes in. And we talked a little bit about that, too. You know, with everybody deserves to play, we all understand that. But your playing time might not necessarily be de uh, determined by whether you played good. If somebody else in front of you is playing good, they're going to keep the more minutes. And so it's a balancing act. Okay. Yeah, you almost need to play a 48-minute game or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be easier. <laughs> but, uh... You know what? Uh, defensively, last night you guys played pretty well, and then, and then or did you, or what, did you yeah. pretty happy we, with that? You or? know, we played a half okay. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, one of the things that was disappointing was more of the offensive end. Is um, they scored 37 of their points came off of either offensive rebounds or turnovers from us. Okay. So we gave up 10 offensive rebounds in the first half, which our goal is less than 10 in an entire game. Uh, so that was very disappointing the way we were on the boards. But again, that was kind of the way we played all night. They played more physical and played harder than we had. And, and that had never happened to us. Even in practice, we play harder than our men's squad. We've always played hard. So again, I'm chalking it up to uh, coming off the high and playing IU, uh, plus the, uh, the situation of we've had so many games and haven't had an opportunity to practice. Okay. So you got two days of practice to get ready for Indianapolis, a Division II opponent. Is that a result of just struggling to find a team to come in here? Yeah, yeah that's purely one of those deals where our scheduling year this year in the non-conference fell almost a week shorter than normal. So we had to cram more games in. Uh, and then so we had certain dates we could play uh, with our schedule, with finals and everything else coming up. And then... Uh, we couldn't find anybody that could fit those dates Division One wise uh, so we had to go ahead and play Division Two. Uh, again, UND, it's, it's, uh, we appreciate them coming over and play. He does a great job there with that program. Uh, but, yeah, it's not something we would traditionally do. But so what, how do you approach this game to, to make sure it's, you know, not uh, you know, a game where, you know, you go in just expecting to win easily and, you know, try to play play your best, I guess. Yeah, you know, uh, the way we do that is we handle it like any other game, you know, in terms of our scouting reports will be the same, the way we cover them. Uh, but, again, the nice thing is coming off, of that, off the IUPUI game, we can really concentrate on ourselves, you know, and be like, okay, look, we just had a 45-minute video session. Now let's take that, carry it over into practice the next two days, and then carry it over onto the floor in the game. Right. So really it's about us getting back to doing the things that we do. Okay. You know, one thing I noticed, I, 
from last night was, you know, uh, Whitman obviously had her best scoring game, and, you know, VC was getting to the hoop. Is that something uh, you've just got a wide range of, of skills, you know, and, and guards that can get to the hoop and yeah, stuff like that? Yeah, no, we do. You know, I mean, we have a six-player like six rotation in our guards from our one through our three, and they all provide something a little bit different. Um, but part of that is our offense is getting a little better in terms of our spacing. So when, when we keep our good spacing, it really opens up those uh, angles to penetrate. And VC and Steph took advantage of those last night. Okay. All right.